Hi friends, this is Rekha Vinod. Welcome to my channel Rekha's Cookbook. Today I am going to show you how to prepare ghee from butter and cotton wicks for ghee lamp. For that we need unsalted butter 450 grams each. I have taken 3 blocks. 2 rock salt. 6 to 7 curry leaves and for cotton wicks I have taken cotton and a small lamp first of all heat a heavy bottom pan and add all your butter blocks melt the butter over medium heat and have fastened the video to show you the entire process Initially when the butter melts, it has some sizzling sound and covered with a large bubbles. And you can see the change of color. Now it is almost done. It is covered with a very teeny tiny bubbles. You can switch off the stove and add the curry leaves or drumstick leaves and rock salt. There are three ways to find out whether our ghee is ready or not. First thing the sizzling sound disappears and it will be covered with a very foamy teeny tiny bubbles. The second thing the yellow buttery color changes into the color of honey. And the third way to find out is when you add some curry leaves or drumstick leaves into hot ghee, it should splutter. You can see the very beautiful honey color. So this is the timing to switch off the stove. Now our ghee is ready. When the ghee cools down completely, it becomes thick. So it's better to filter when the ghee is warm. I'm filtering into a small bowl to show you how it looks. It has got a very beautiful golden color and looks like honey. Store the ghee in a clean and dry container. You can see the curry leaves, it has left its flavor. Our homemade ghee is ready and it has got a very beautiful sand like texture. Let's see how to prepare our cotton mix. For that we need cotton and little water. Cotton is available at any medical shops. Take a piece of cotton, fold it very tightly to make a base for our mix. Add some more cotton for thickness. Fold it very tightly. It should feel like a stone. Keep it aside. And now I am preparing the cover for the base. Take a thin sheet of cotton and place the hard ball into it. Close it and take the excess cotton and apply very little water and close it very tightly and tap it at the bottom so that it can stand by itself. Now we can add small pieces of cotton to the thickness of the mix. Just a thin pieces of cotton is required. We can just keep on adding how much of a thickness we need it, we can make it. And that's it. The same way we can make all the cotton mix. I have made the hot bowl. Close it inside the thin sheet. Remove the excess cotton. Apply some water. 
tap it downwards squeeze it very tightly now our base is ready now we can add on the thin pieces of cotton to make the thickness of the wick now our cotton wicks are ready take a bowl place all the cotton wicks add some melted ghee and can be soaked for some time there is no such soaking time we can use it whenever it is required now our cotton wicks are soaked into ghee take a lamp this way press the cotton wick and light the lamp now it is ready to be offered Thanks for watching my first video please do subscribe and leave your comments